everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for sticking around and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do so down below I am going to be showing you guys a lot of plushies today I have a market coming up so I have been market prepping all week and my hands are hurting a little bit I'm not gonna lie but I have a couple boxes here of things that I want to show you guys I want to show you kind of how much I can get crocheted in a day so for this market I had a market last weekend and I have another one coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. Sorry if it's a bit windy, by the way. I'm like so warm. I have to have the window open. Anyways, I have a market coming up tomorrow, which means I only had one week to prepare. And normally this wouldn't really be an issue because I would have a little bit of stock left over from my previous market that I could just bring to the next ones. But the last market that I did was insane. I completely sold out. My table was empty, <laughs> so I am literally starting from zero, which is actually really stressful. I've never had to start from zero before. I've always had at least a box full that I could bring with me. Um, so yeah, it's been a busy week and I'm gonna show you guys day by day how much I crocheted. Okay, so on the first day, I mainly focused on doing small things. It was actually the evening that I had my previous market so I had just worked all day and I didn't want to be doing too much but I ended up doing a lot more than I initially planned so I did a bunch of these baby triceratops which are definitely one of our top sellers um, I haven't even counted these yet to see how many I actually have done so let's go ahead and get these counted so we have two five nine ten so I did 10. That's actually a lot. I didn't think I had that many done, but I did 10 on the first day. And let's go ahead and move to the second day and see what I crocheted. So on the second day, I did this adorable little Pooh Bear. I'm obsessed. He took me quite a while. <laughs> kind of hurt my hands a little bit because I just kind of rushed. I wanted to get him finished, but he's so cute. I love him. And I also did a little baby jellyfish so I didn't do as much on the second day um, so the second day would have been uh, Monday but there's just only so much you can crochet in one day also I just want to show you guys I didn't do this this week I did it last week but look how cute I actually just finished him last week and he's so cute I love this one so much so I am gonna bring him to the next market so technically I do have like a couple things ready to go I had a bunch of projects half finished that I just completed like they needed eyes or little accessories and things like that so this is one that will be coming to my market tomorrow so Tuesday was a good day I got a lot done on Tuesday I did a couple of these jumbo jellyfish they are so cute check out those eyes I need to restock these on Etsy too because they're just adorable and I'm trying to use up this yarn because I have so much of it you can kind of see behind me like I have so much um, so I got two of these done I do plan on doing at least one more for the market and I also finished one two three four five six seven eight little blueberries so these are the baby blueberries these are also a top seller I just freehand these ones people ask me all the time <laughs> and I put our new these are the 20 millimeter felt eyes on these so there's some available on Etsy right now if you are looking for felt eyes and if you're in Canada or wherever we um, ship them for free so yeah a bunch of blueberries okay so for Wednesday I started out by making a koala I love these um, I sold out of these at the last market so I don't know I think they're pretty cute <laughs> hopefully this little guy will sell these are some new felt eyes they're out of stock right now obviously they're they're by us by me but um, I'm going to end up restocking those in other colors at some point and yeah he's just so cute he's so chunky I love him so also on Wednesday I made a bunch of these cute little pocket octopus they're super cute again with the 20 millimeter 20 millimeter eyes and I don't have as many of these done for this market at the last market I had around 20 of these they did sell out and I am trying my best you guys I'm trying to stock up as much as I can but we have a bunch of these so I have one two three four five six 
So this is the other color. I think I only have the three colors this time. I might get a chance to make one or two more, but my market is tomorrow, so <laughs> I don't have that much time. And I also made one little baby triceratops on Wednesday. So on Thursday, I finished working on this little fairy. I turned her into Tinkerbell, but you could do any colors that you want. She has little sparkly wings. Um, this one I didn't completely start this week. I started the week before, but I did like half of it this week. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I didn't make this entire thing on Thursday, but I did want to show you guys anyways, cause I did most of her on Thursday. I also made a new baby turtle. It's really, really cute. I like this one. I did the eyes a little bit differently this time. Normally it has crocheted eyes, but I just, I'm short on time. So I just stuck on some of our felt eyes. This is my turtle pattern. So you can purchase this pattern on Etsy. It's super, super cute. Lots of fun color uh, combinations that you can make these guys in. And turtles sell out like crazy at markets. I've gotten a lot of feedback from other people as well who have tried my pattern that the turtles are normally the first ones to sell. So that's really exciting. And I know this guy is guaranteed to sell at our market tomorrow. And I did one more little baby triceratops. I try to just squeeze these in whenever I can. So Friday I decided was going to be a leggy froggy day because I was sold out of those and they seem to be selling pretty good. It's a newer product for me. So I made a bunch of those, but first I'll just show you. I also made a little mini egg. I haven't made these in a little while. I do like to have one or two of these at our shows because they are good sellers. Sometimes I'll do a big one and a small one. This is just the small one. And yeah, I just wanted to have like a little bit of variety on my table. I didn't want to make too much of the same things, even though what I'm about to show you right now is like literally 15 of the same thing. <laughs> so these little guys, are leggy froggies and they're so cute so my favorite thing to do with these is you just cross their little arms and then they're they're upset <laughs> they're cute i don't know and you can cross their legs i don't know they're just adorable they're just really funny looking these are a good seller for us we do a few different colors oh it's just hanging upside down <laughs> I got some pink ones, some green ones, some blue ones. I normally do purple ones as well. I just haven't had time. So I will go ahead and count these up and we'll see how many I have ready for tomorrow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How am I gonna hold all these? Nine, nine, ten, eleven. 12. 12 Luggy Froggies. And now that brings us to today, which is Saturday. So, so far, shocker, <laughs> started out with a baby Triceratops and you guys are going to die when you see these. These are so cute. So this is my first time doing this pattern and oh my god, look, look at these little duckies, these little burbs. So these are little mallard ducks. They are so cute. I think these are going to sell really well. So I have a few of these done so far. I'm hoping to do a couple more in some different colors, but I just wanted to get some of these done. So right now I have one, two, three, four, and they're so cute. I hope they do well. But other than that, those are what I have finished so far. <laughs> so it's like two boxes full right now. I do also have like some things that I had sitting around my craft room, which I haven't posted to Etsy yet or I haven't brought to a show yet that I am gonna bring just to make sure that I have enough stock in different price points. So one of them is this giant eggplant, which actually I have meant to bring this to the last few markets and I keep forgetting because it's sitting in my closet. So that guy is gonna be coming and I have a giant zebra, which I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to bring I will show you guys really quick. So we have this giant guy. Look how cute he is. He's absolutely massive. I just finished him yesterday or the other day and I used our new 50 millimeter rainbow zebra eyes. These eyes dropped on Etsy yesterday and they sold out in like a matter of minutes. It was crazy. These were the first ones to sell out as part of our safari collection. We do actually have more eyes available still. Um, if you guys want to go check it out, 
but yeah that is what they look like I know it's just easier to kind of see what some of the eyes look like on an actual piece I don't know if I'm gonna bring this guy I'm gonna kind of gauge first how much stuff I'm actually bringing it is only a small table and he is pretty big I might bring him and just leave him in the car as kind of a backup so if my table gets really empty I do like to have a few backup pieces that I can kind of put out like some bigger things so we'll see I just don't want him to get like mangled because our table gets absolutely mauled <laughs> when we go to craft shows things get damaged things get just like squeezed and flicked around so I don't want anything to happen to this guy because he literally took me months on and off um, to make so we'll see so yeah that is where I am at right now um, it's gonna be a crazy week because I have a market tomorrow which is Sunday and then I have another market on Thursday so hypothetically if I completely sell out tomorrow I don't know what I'm gonna do luckily the market on thursday my mom will be attending that one with me so she will also have a pile of stuff so hopefully i won't have to have as much stock but it's gonna be a really busy week for me which i wouldn't have it any other way if i'm honest i like being really busy i hope you guys enjoyed seeing how much i was able to get done this week i appreciate you guys leaving me all the comments in the last video i did have a look through them some of you are saying on tiktok and in the comment section that you want to see how I prepare for a craft show so I can definitely do a video like that and show you guys almost like a checklist of things that I make sure I have ready um, kind of my process feel free to leave me a comment below on this video letting me know how much you guys can crochet in a day I really want to know I like knowing how much people can do because I'm sure there are people that are way faster than me that could probably do double the amount that I do and then I know some people are slower and might only get one plushie done. So I'm really curious. Let me know how much you guys crochet in a day. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.